a hi in this video i'm going to show you how to set up and use aws infrastructure as a code with using gitlab ci cd tool and terraform as you see in this ppt this ppt depicts my demo here i'm going to show you what are all the settings or what are the configurations that you need to manage on the gitlab tool so that you perform the required CI/CD task at aws here i'm going to show you you know how you can manage the infrastructure of aws with using terraform so the flow the flow of my demo will be something like this that is you know an aws developer will have uh, an access to the github you know gitlab and he will be making the required infrastructure as a code with using terraform and he will be doing the required you know push and pull task on your gitlab you know repository right and once the pull and push task i know once the push task has been done on the your github you know gitlab um, repository the the defined you know ci cd task will be invoked which actually provisions the aws infrastructure and also manages the terraform state locally on the gitlab right so here the peculiarity of this video is you know how you can host your or how you can manage your terraform state of your infrastructure native to the gitlab storage or native to the gitlab you know place where you can store the terraform state file so that is the peculiarity of this you know particular video right so basically this is how the flow is now i'm going to walk you through the you know the complete configuration from scratch to end like how you need to do the setup on the gitlab what are the configurations that you need to take out from the aws and finally achieve this cycle yeah achieve this particular pipeline yeah so here is the aws developer you know, which is actually using your aws infrastructure which has been created or managed by you know uh, aws infrastructure as a code with using gitlab csd tool and terraform right all right i'm gonna go back to the my um, you know my my uh, gitlab account so this is this is my gitlab account basically so i have i'm using the free version of um, uh, gitlab uh, subscription you can also do the same thing um, you know by going to the gitlab.com and and you know subscribe to the uh, gitlab.com and then you can create your own account once the account has been created you can create a repository like this so there is a button called here if you click on this one there is a new project and repository button right so once you create this once you create a repository it will ask you for the you know like um, what is the name of your repository and, and you know some few data for example like what is the description just like that yeah so once that is been done you will see a blank repository so for now i have something you know some some terraform folder and dot yaml files are there but i'm going to walk you through this one later so basically you know this is what i'm giving you like you know it's like a, a bottom line basic knowledge that you need to have on the gitlab tool side so that you can set up your repository that's the first thing right so say your repository is now you know been set right and you for now i'm keeping only one branch that is main branch which is a, a default branch as well right all right so this is all about uh you know um, my repository set on the gitlab account okay so on the gitlab account yeah all right so now what i do is you know i'm gonna go through the from my visual studio code okay so what did i do is i have cloned this repository so how did i clone is there is a button here and you can use either clone with ssh or clone with https right since i am using vs code i have used with the https okay and once you clone it then you can open your that repository in this vs code and start your coding right so first one i'm going to walk you through the code first then i'm going to go to the next step that is you know what are all the the other prerequisite configurations that you need to maintain on the git you know on the gitlab side and also on the aws side and then you know together together how these two connects and and performs the required infrastructure as a code right so first one here since this video is is helping you to get started with the you know gitlab ci cd tool so here i'm making the you know the required infrastructure on aws account very simple i'm here i'm just creating a vpc yeah so here i'm going to walk you through the uh, first file so you're going to create a folder called terraform and under that we're going to you know keep these three you know main important you know dot terraform file so in the main dot terraform file so we are actually you know this is since the file says main dot terraform file here we're going to write a, a resource that is aws resource here i'm choosing the vpc or you can choose s3 bucket or any, any kind of you know other services for example say so here we are using the resource that is aws vpc this is the variable and inside this floor bracket you know we are giving the required parameter to create a vpc 
and that is a CIDR block is yes that is a mandatory and then the instance uh, you know, tenancy is just a default then we are giving some tag okay and here I'm just giving a demo VPC yeah all right so this is the main.tf file I'm gonna go to the next provider file so as the name says provider.tf file so this is the place where we actually you know maintain our you know required terraform providers okay so here there are two types of provider okay so one is the you know you are gonna keep a block for terraform configurations and one is you know the provider that is a api provider here aws is the api provider right okay so that's what the configuration is if i can go from the top that is in terraform we are giving the required versions of the aws that is uh, uh, you know the um, um, you know aws module itself has its own version right so currently i'm choosing greater than 3.27 right and the source is hashicorp you know maintained repository that is aws repository yeah and here this is very very important point and it plays a very vital role so remember that you know here we are using backend as https okay so i enforced one point saying like you know we are gonna manage the terraform state locally on the gitlab right so in the earlier videos i have explained like you know how we can store these state file of your infrastructure on on say you know, on the terraform cloud or locally to the aws okay so these are all traditional days but now you can you know gitlab provides a capability that you know you can store that state file locally into our gitlab you know repository and from there you can manage the life cycle of your you know uh, uh, of your cloud infrastructure right all right so yeah so that's the reason you know this is very important point where we are declaring you know backend of my terraform will be going to be in, a, in an http okay so i'm going to show you how you need to set up that uh, like you know how you need to configure the uh, how what are all the steps that you need to follow to configure the backend as on the gitlab only right so that's the this file and i'm going to walk you to the next file so this file as name says you know variable that tf file in this one the required variables okay so whatever the walkthrough i have done so here you know cidr is been has been you know is been parameterized here so and in the provider also we are reason is also been parameterized right so somebody has to pass that value so that value will be declared and and assigned okay so you can also do both you know you, basically variable.tf file is meant for declaration but you can also give a default values okay until you are not using tf war files so here variable and variable so here we you know we are declaring a variable that is aws reason i'm giving us east one and the cidr i'm just giving a that is a private a category cidr range okay which is very very big one okay so this is very simple a terraform folder which is required to spin up the you know aws vpc infrastructure okay now we'll go to the you know our heart of the demo right this is this is very core and very important part of my demo that is how do you declare the you know gitlab ci series so that you know it performs the uh, you know required infrastructure as a code on the uh, on the aws and manages the state file and in the sense manages the state of your infrastructure locally on the gitlab so here you know it has it, it's a big file basically it's a, it's it's a couple of lines i'm going to walk you through the very quickly so as you are aware like if you are well known with respect to the you know github actions yaml file or github action workflow files it's you know it's almost like syncing in the sense the the pattern and the usage is also like you know actually intersecting in both you know basically um uh, basically you know almost like similar okay so similar syntax has been followed here as well so here but you know since it's a gitlab right so basically it's an enterprise service so it has its own naming convention you need to understand that and here we have a workflow so in the in the workflow so we have the rules okay so in the rules in the sense what is this actually tells you know it tells how this gitlab you know ci workflow has to be invoked basically right so so here in this case you are providing a rules so and there are the two rules okay so one is if if the commit branch if the ci commit branch is not equal to main and the pipeline source is you know is not from the merge request and then you know when never in the sense it should not be triggered something like that yeah and and or else it is always yeah so so this is just a criteria i would encourage you to understand you know how you can set up the custom trigger criteria based on the the possible you know conventions of the git you know gitlab um, ci definitions next one you know in the variables so in the variables we are declaring the you know uh, the required variables so these variables will be used down the line yeah so here we are declaring the three variables that is terraform directory that is tf underscore dar state underscore name and address 
so in the terraform directory so you we are just uh, creating a directory in the sense uh, so basically you know when when the when gitlab machine or gitlab ci machine invokes this you know invokes this um, this file you know it has to execute the terraform file right so for that case you know we are you know we are doing a cd to this path in the sense it actually check out the code from the repository and runs it from the locally right so that's what actually the uh, the ci machine does that is a continuous integration machine does right and to that machine we are telling hey this is my path you need to first do a cd to this and then start the commands which i am declaring down the line right and the one important point which i explained in my explanation is you know terraform state file so here we are keeping a terraform state file something like this okay that is cloud pick labs hyphen tf so this is my terraform state file going to be and that going to be hosted on the gitlab only so in the address so this is there something like you know since here in the in the backend information so in the provider we have explained you know my backend will be an https endpoint right and that is the reason you know we are giving the endpoint so in the sense we are dynamically creating a api url and that api url will be used down the line when you are running a command like terraform init plan apply something blah blah yeah so here the api has been constructed something like this so this is not a you know api which i have given but it's basically given from the gitlab so gitlab is managing this api from their side so the url is you now gitlab.com api version 4 project and this is the project id i'm going to show you how you can you know capture this project id so if i can walk you in the dynamically so if you go to your project so um, a project information click on the project information and sorry go to the repository um, uh, and click on this one yeah so there is a an annotation called project id so this is the id they mean by the project id yeah so i'll go back to the code so this is our project id so basically whatever you see in ca underscore project underscore id so this is like a you know environmental variable which gets so here these variables are not been defined at even at the environmental you know uh, declarations but these are all like you know keywords that that you know ci machine understands it and and you know and this this value will be dynamically filled okay so we are not declaring it machine understand it and and tries to replace it dynamically during the runtime similarly state machine right the state machine i have declared as a variable and i'm using it here right and that is what here address has been constructed and in the stages we are declaring the stages because you know as you know you know uh, when you run a terraform um, code basically it, it passes through multiple stages okay so those are the stages i know i have broken down those stages into required as per the terraform one is first you need to validate it which is nothing but you know uh, uh, you know doing the checking your the code validation this and checking the uh, checking the you know um, uh, the code standards of terraform basically that is a validate yeah and the plan is basically you know that's uh, that's actually you know creates a draft of your infrastructure and apply applies actually you know which actually does the right off right off of your your infrastructure destroys nothing but delete of your infrastructure and right? so here images so images is nothing but you know you are saying you know what kind of machine has to you know run my this you know this code run my code in the sense what kind of machine or what kind of image has to run my you know uh, uh, run my terraform code so that also we are declaring here that is hashicorp terraform dot light in the sense this the the ci machine which has been created will be using this image and since the image the the basically you know they are using the containerized options for this uh, gitlab so whenever they spin up the containers or, or whenever they spin up the pods they're going to use this image and and create that pod so within that part only you know our code is getting run okay if i can talk you in the bottom line so then in the enter point we are just keeping it empty and then we have the before a uh, script in the before script you know we we are running a, you know running a um, couple of commands here that is uh, terraform version um, then then you know then we are actually invoking the environmental variable that is a token right so if i can step back now i will go back to the um, uh, you know go back to the settings so in the settings if you go to the ci cd so this is very very important steps in the ci cd right so cd setting you see there are multiple options here that is a general pipeline auto devops runners artifacts right so in this one variables so as you see the variables source information like password secret key that you can use it in the job each project can define the maximum of 200 variables so basically the capacity has been given here it can be increased if you can reach out to the gitlab enterprise right so far now i'm just keeping the i'm, I'm just keeping only four variables which is required for to run my terraform code to manage my aws infrastructure right so as you know to this is my aws account basically and on the second what i did is i have created an iim user so yeah so i'm gonna go to the iim first 
so in this one i created an i am user um, called something like this um uh, you know that is uh, a gitlab user right and and to this user i have given admin privilege okay somebody have already been you know highlighted missing like you know you always give the highest privilege this is this is purely you know to understand the concept but you know if you go to the security level yes you need to give a very minimum permissions that is for your important note okay since to make the demo very easy i try to you know go with the blanket access okay so if i focus on more on the security perspective videos if if i'm doing that you know in that case i will try to you know cover up the point saying like you know least privileged methods okay so i created a im user how did i create so i think you don't need to I, I so basically i believe that you already know this one that is you know if you go to the user options click on the user yeah and then you know give the name and and say you know it is a programmatic access only and then that's also the then you can uh and you can you can assign the permissions that you need and and you know you will be able to download the required credentials right so to this user i have given the uh admin privilege and my security credentials are also been downloaded and that credentials will be used as an environmental variable so if i go to the security credentials and then here are the my my security credentials okay no worries i'm going to delete this user after this video is been done so you don't need to try the some other options yeah so and then once you have the im user so you're going to get a im access key id secret key right so basically you will get this okay so in that case you need to set a environmental variable like this so if i can show you how you can do this so click on the, there is a button there is a blue button called add variables click on that like this right and then give a value here and check these options okay check the flag options and check the you know type of the variable and then down the line there is a button called add variable so once you click on the add variable right and that's all the variable gets created something like this same method i have followed and and created the added the access key id secret access key right and then token so what is a token so token is nothing but this is a gitlab pad token you might have heard like you know github pad token so now it is a you know uh, uh, gitlab pad token so how did i create so to create a gitlab pad token so i will go to the um yeah so go to the uh, profiles so go to the profile um so here sorry not profile you need to go to the settings of your project so currently we are in the context of aws iac project and in this one you have a, an option called um, access token right so once you click on this one give the name like something like you know cloud quick labs right give the expiry date so you can give the expiry date like tomorrow and remember when you are giving a role to that particular access token give either maintainer developer or owner if you give reporter guest maybe you know it, you know you will not be able to create the you know gitlab state file okay that is your important information okay let's say i'm giving maintainer maintenance and uh, maintainer and then you will uh, select the um, uh, these permissions and click on the create project access okay so once you click on create project so you will get an id here so something like this okay for example if i can show you here let me add owner again so we'll just uh, say click on this this yeah so i'm just giving the full permissions i'm not i said you know my aim is to help you to get the path okay so that's the reason i'm not worrying about the you know least permissions uh, uh, you know the method here so create on the uh, this one so you will be able to copy the token so click on this one so you will be able to copy the token yeah i have already done for my demo purpose which is ready i'm going to show you how you can use it so this is the token you can copy that so this is one time so basically when you create a pad token it will be shown only one time if it is not copied at that time then it is gone okay so make sure that you copy right at the right time and once that is done so then you will go back to the again back to the ci cd under settings we are we are in the settings and then in the ci cd settings i will go back to the environmental variable click on expand and then here i have added the token like this okay so the token variable has been added and user so what is the username you might be surprised okay so here the username is nothing but you know your username that is a that is a user id belongs to this gitlab account yeah so i have created these secrets and the environmental variable and these variables will be on automatically available to use in the ci cd definitions which i am going to walk you through this one here right and this is where now let me come back so basically you know whatever the prerequisite configuration that you need to maintain on the gitlab is already been explained okay now think like you know the whatever environmental variable like token we have kept on the variable if you want to you know uh, if you want to use it in your ci definition then you can do dollar token right and that has been assigned to this variable that is a export variable right 
now again see, see you know tfdir so TF, if i go to the tfdir that is a terraform directory is been you know been will be available here okay and then comes then basically you know the first command okay the first command that you are running is terraform init okay so always in terraform the uh, you know everything starts with init right so basically you must do init then only you can go for the next step that is a validate plan apply destroy yeah so here we are also you know um, uh, uh, creating uh, we are also running a script called you know uh, a command called terraform init so in this one we are saying reconfigure in the sense you know if it has been already been configured you must reconfigure it with these parameters that is a here is a backend configurations where the address okay so the address in the sense the http address the backend http address is is been is been given here so that is address is been used here okay All right i will go next so in the backend uh, configuration so here is a lock address so right now you have seen like an, uh, a normal address normal http address this is lock address which will be appended with the lock yeah similarly you know backend configuration for the unlock address yeah that is a unlocking the uh, the locked terraform state file right so it is actually same like uh, uh, you know lock address yeah and then comes a uh, backend configuration in the backend configuration we need to pass the username as well anyways the format of this i'm going to keep it in my this repo and this repo link will be shared in my video's description you can find it and you can use it from your side this is the username and then also then we are giving the password the password is nothing but you know gitlab token which we configured above and then you have a backend configuration that is you know the in the backend configuration we are actually giving the further parameter that is method to post method post right that is a lock method and the unlock method also been declared here and the backend configuration for retry wait minute is five minutes okay so these are all the configurations you know we are giving it in this place yeah now we'll go quickly to the down the line so here as i say you know we are declaring the stages right so now actual stages starts that is a validating planning applying destroying okay so everything will be declared here so actually all this all these stages are you know follows a certain parameter and a certain you know certain schema so i'm going to walk you through the one the rest all will be changing with only the scripts okay so here stage is validate in this one we are running a command script is nothing but you know you are could be running a file of containing the script or you could running it just a command so here i'm just running a terraform validate and after that in the cache you know properties so we are actually giving the um, key path and policy so basically in gitlab there is a unique property of you know keeping the uh, keeping the configuration or the keeping the run configurations in a cache and that cache definitions will be given here so in the cache you are giving the key as the your uh, commit reference name path is nothing but you know which is the path you have ran and the policy is you know what kind of task you did like whether you pull did you, you know did you do the pull or push yeah similarly plan so similarly the plan will follow the same syntax uh, but you know the command here is you know you're going to run a terraform plan right and the rest all things will remain same similarly for apply you know you're going to call run a script called terraform apply with input you know with the flag equal to auto hyphen approve that is hyphen auto approve yeah similarly if you go to the destroy so there is a bit difference here so once you pass a terraform you know a terraform destroy with the flag auto approve um so you know and the, in the down the line so in the cache okay so cache you can you know, cache you, cache will be remain the configuration like other stages and here when is nothing but you know on what condition this stage has to run that is a when somebody manually you know approves it then only this stage has to run that is a some kind of a, you know uh, uh, you know parameter being passed and that controls the you know the behavior of this run right and here the dependencies okay so i forgot to tell you so we have also added a dependency which actually you know pipelines the you know which actually runs the task one after the other right so basically once i run this one you will be loving it because you know gitlab shows you these stages in a very nice uh, you know uh, gui option that is in in the in the you know in the in the in the web page actually right all right so this is about our gitlab ca right so now this is all about the code but before that there is a one very important task in the sense so once you write so for example say let me go back to the my diagram so now now you know at the first the first time you have created a very blank gitlab repo and then let's say you know you have written these code now now you need to do a one there is a one more important trade, uh, step that is by default gitlab does not maintains a state file for you in the sense gitlab does not create a state file by by its own okay 
so you need to do that manually so you, there is a there is a some small there is a one time step is there that you need to follow so how to do that you know if you go to the um, you know if you go to the uh, infrastructure option underneath your underneath your project so if i can you know minimize this yeah so under ci cd so this is of my project under this project if you can scroll down there is an option called infrastructure in the infrastructure you have uh, an kubernetes cluster google cloud and terraform click on terraform so this is the place where actually gitlab manages the state of your ci pipeline or state of your infrastructure basically yeah so here right now you know it does not have any state file and gitlab does not create the state file on its own by if you can just if you, if you know my code is ready now if i go ahead and invoke the ci pipeline it actually fails because you know it, as i say you know it does not has a capacity you know it does not has the you know the logic or you know maybe you know it does not has a state forward way uh, uh, to create the you know the state file dynamically yeah and for that case we need to we need to create this state file locally one time and then push that state file to the gitlab and then from there you know the cycle of using that state file continues so for that case what you have to do is you now since this code is been cloned in a repository this terraform file will be available um, in your local repository so okay so if i so for that case what we have to do is we have to run one command called terraform init by doing a cd to this path you know this path where you have kept this a code right so if i so for that case what i do is i will use a powershell for now i'm using the powershell uh, terminal here and i will go to the path where i have kept the uh, uh, you know kept the my my um, a code actually so here i will go to the gitlab so this is my repository and this is my terraform yeah so what i do is i'm going to do a cd to this path yeah so basically um, before that the one more prerequisite here is you know you need to have your system installed with the terraform yeah so how do you check it so you can check it um, uh, like running a command like terraform space hyphen hyphen version so if you run this command so it should return something like this which means that you know the terraform is installed in your system if not you can watch my another video where i have explained like how you can set and configure the you know terraform on windows system right so now what i do is you know i have copied the path of the you know file so basically what is the path if i can reiterate so i have cloned the my gitlab repository in the folder like you know this gitlab and name of the, my repository is aws hyphen iac and the folder underneath where i kept my terraform file is terraform so i'm going to do a cd to this path right so once this path you can do a ls so basically these are all the files are been present here now we need to run a command which i have already constructed i'm going to walk you through this command first one let me copy this command and and you know and and paste it in the in the in the terminal and then i can walk you through this one before i hit the enter right so here what we are doing is we are being staying in this path that is in the terraform path we are running a terraform in it okay so remember that you know we are actually initiating a connection in the sense we are actually initiating the execution of the terraform that is terraform in it with the backend configuration which i have explained in the same command so whatever i have explained here in this command so we this command will be executed by the git you know github action so by the gitlab later case but for the first time when you are setting the complete terraform state and repository and the code then this is the step that you need to perform so that you know the gitlab you know creates a terraform state file for you in local to the gitlab right so here the command is terraform in it backend is nothing but you know again we are giving the address https address here so here you know this is you know this api will be constructed with your project id so you need to replace this with your project id and you know keep keep the url something like this then the in the backend then you're gonna add the lock address and the unlock addresses so lock addresses will and unlock address will be you know uh, will be having you know this is the place where we actually declaring what is the name of your terraform state file that is here i'm giving my terraform state file name equal to cloud quick labs hyphen tf and similarly you know similarly for unlock as well so if you see the unlock http address the unlock address, http address is also going to remain same and then we're going to pass the you know credentials that is username that is uh, my gitlab account username and then you're going to pass the you know path token which you have generated by giving the permission like admin owner permission or the admin developer permissions and in the configurations we are using the uh, you know we are also declaring the what kind of method i'm going to use when i do a lock uh, um, you know lock method for post and unlock method for delete yeah unlock method equal to delete lock method equal to post and finally backend configuration retry option has been set to to five minutes yeah so once you hit this command right 
so you should see the response something which i am showing you currently in my screen that is successfully configure the backend http this message has to be popped up okay then only you will you know then only uh, you can you can assume that or you can believe that you know the uh, the, con the whatever the parameter that you have passed in the about terraform minute is accurate and correct okay if you are not getting this information then maybe you will be failing to create a terraform state file and move the terraform state file to the gitlab okay so far now what is actually done if you are a terraform guy you will understand that you know basically we are actually creating the you know by running the terraform unit it actually initiates uh, you know uh, downloading all the required terraform configuration files creates a log.chl file H, you know hcl file right and also it creates a it also creates a within this dot uh, terraform file it also maintains a local terraform state file okay and that file we're gonna move that file to the gitlab right and that is the aim of this one so once this is done once this option is done so basically you assume that you know the it has successfully identified the endpoint and created a state file now to generate the state file and actually you know to concretize this you know if i can tell you in other way basically concretize the terraform state file so for that case we have to run one more command that is a terraform plan so what terraform init is nothing but it just establish the connection okay initialized is it actually you know it actually tested that you know everything is fine right now you when you hit a command like terraform plan which actually creates a state file of your infrastructure or of your terraform code so i'm going to hit this one as you seen in my code which i walked you through where i'm just creating um you know vpc right so and that vpc information will be given here so in the sense it will tell you know hey this folder is going to create me you know, such resources in your account basically yeah all right so this is your here we are creating a vpc so that's the reason it has given me summary saying like you know it's going to create a one resource okay so that's all so far now once you hit this command you should go to the um, go to your infrastructure and go to the terraform then go to the terraform so then you should see a, a state file being created so previously there were no terraform state file right now you see the updated just now so we have basically you now we have able to we were able to create a terraform state file local to the Git, gitlab which will be used by you know this project and continuation so continue will be happening from here right so right now you built it and you pushed that terraform file to the your to the your your upstream repository that is gitlab repository right and that's all for now so you don't need to run a, you know next uh, uh, next commands from this terminal that is from the powershell terminal like terraform apply test you don't need to do this the job of this one is done i'm going to i'm going to go back to this or i'm just i'm just going to minimize this now i will go to the here so here if you see here there is a sudden change happened right so basically it created the uh, dot terraform file hcl file which we don't need so we can just select all and delete it yeah so just just delete it because our job is done yeah and then the repository looks to the natural and original repository so if we go to this one so the here here you go so virtual control says you know there is no changes right for now i should have some changes so for that case what i do is i will add some dummy comments here saying like i'll just add you know uh, showing the demo now yeah so in this one uh, in the showing demo so basically um yeah um okay so once the changes are made i'll just uh, save this and then you know uh, the source control identifies the changes i click on this one and i'm gonna commit these changes okay so i'll just say uh, demoing this one yeah i'll just say demo um demo session yeah all right so once i uh, click on demo and commit it and do a sync to the upstream right now we should see our github action you know, our gitlab cicd pipeline should be invoked okay so right now previously i have already passed one successful so basically to reach to the stage to make you demo see i have you know spent this much time because you know it it, it really requires that kind of you know that kind of hands-on uh, that kind of dig down okay to come to the stage okay so and i know this is the effort that i'm giving to the community so that you know the, you can learn it on the go itself yeah okay so right now it has started to run the jobs basically if you see here so this is the gui you know i was talking in my previous discussion in the sense in the while ago right so basically this pipeline is creating stages okay the stages which we declared in the file right that is validate plan apply and destroy okay so let's wait how does these stages behaves okay uh, basically uh, so if i can open this one you can dynamically see the logs as well so basically it's it's cloning yeah so in in the in the definition we were saying you know hey you need to create a pod you know 
with using this message. You know, basically the GitLab in the, from the back end for every release, it creates a dynamic, you know, it creates a dynamic pod and then completes the job. Okay. If I can tell you in a layman and if you are very interested to know what happens in the back end. Right. So, um, yeah, so basically first task of our job is completed. You see, you can track the status of the um, pipeline, you know, in which stage currently it is in progress. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, it has passed the validate. Now it is running the plan. So we can go to this plan stage now. I will reopen that complete uh, session. That is a demo session uh, execution. So now you can see, you know, it actually invoking the uh, plan stage, right? And once it, it went, so basically, you know, yeah, here you go. So it has actually nicely shown, you know, what is it happened in the plan stage as well, right? So in the plan, it actually executed the, you know, it executed our Terraform folder. It identified that, you know, it has to create a one resource. Okay. So like this, whatever I have shown here. So till now, you know, I just created it. Okay. But if you see here, whatever the state file that we created from local and push it to this GitLab, right? GitLab uh, state storage. It's been continued okay so that is the peculiarity of you know that that is a very important point that you need to understand right now it has started to done with the plan now it actually doing the apply so let's go and see this um, um, stage here you go it was very quick and it actually completed the plan and apply as well so we're gonna see that if i open this plan stage as well uh, sorry apply stage as well so this is how it looked so if i can come from the top right so it actually you know so if i can walk you through this one because apply is very important if you see you know it's running with the gitlab runners this is the gitlab runner on the blue you know preparing the docker machine this is basically it's creating something you know image right and and you know pulling the docker image from this one using the docker image yeah and preparing the environment right then then it is actually uh, uh, you know uh, fetching the fetching the changes with the git yeah and then then initializing the you know uh, empty git repositories basically it's, it's doing the prerequisite job okay and then down the line you know it actually starts to execute our command that is that uh, you know uh, yeah so if i can go back yeah so it's it's appending one after the other right? so our task is here that is uh terraform apply so terraform apply with auto approve so that has been executed and we should see a resource in the vpc so if i can show the resources in vpc so you know we should see one vpc with the name demo vpc yeah so if you go to the vpc yeah i see two vpc and here you go the vpc which we you know um you know which we managed it as infrastructure as a code is now created so demo vpc is been created and you see the CID range is you know 10.0.0.4 slash 16 is been created right so basically the pipeline is working fine yeah and there is a one more task uh, which we need to understand is you know there is a one task is still in waiting so yes, waiting okay so this one is skipped why it is skipped because because in the ci definition or in the gitlab ci definition we are telling it it has to be manually invoked okay and that's the reason it is skipped you can also retrigger it basically you know you can play it again you know you can tell you can tell that particular pipeline to run it again yeah and that's that's what you know it actually does now um yeah here it goes it's actually running it now and which actually doing a desktop in the sense it actually deletes the resources which we created in here right so i'm gonna go here and and you know wait for this to get deleted yeah so it should be very quick let's see you know how does it it behaves now so i'm just going to open this um yeah so basically if i open this yeah and and if we open the uh the last stage that is destroy yeah so basically it should be destroyed yeah it's currently running so if you see here it's actually uh, uh running the command that is uh terraform destroy right so okay so if you see here yeah here you go so destra is been been running here and and you know it is successful so if we can refresh now we should see vpc getting yeah getting done in the sense getting removed so if you uh, so here you go you see right you know completely removed yeah all right so i have shown you the complete things you know so from the scratch to end i have you know tried to show you everything hope that you know you have liked this video uh, finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would uh, really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video